morning everybody, it's Rebecca here. It is now Monday the 6th of September 2010. Uh, it's a lovely morning, uh, just right for a walk, so I'll be going out for a walk in a little while. Um, just wanted to do a quick update uh, just to show where I am right at this moment. Um, uh, I am officially one week away from the start of my pre-op diet. Uh, and three weeks away from my surgery day. So that's seven days away from pre-op and 21 from surgery. It's getting close, can't wait. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I got on the scales this morning and I thought I would just see whether I've lost any more. Um, those of you that have been watching my videos will know that I'm actively trying to lose uh, a little bit of weight um, before surgery and to increase my exercise just to uh, give me a better outcome at surgery uh, and also post-surgery hopefully as well. So um, anyway, the, these figures might not sound so significant to anyone out there but to me they're huge because I really, 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 really struggle to lose weight. Um, in fact, the only diet that's ever lost me any weight, even though I don't um, champion it as a diet because uh, it gives you all sorts of other um, thoughts and feelings that are quite destructive, um, is the Lighter Life Diet. Um, so. To do this on my own with my increased exercise and cutting down on plate sizes and snack, you know, cutting down on snacking and choosing uh, good foods. Although I have to admit now, I'm confessing that I do still eat bad things at this moment in time, and I know I'm going to have to give them up in a week's time. So I'm kind of not beating myself up about it. Um, too much but rather taking on a positive uh, note I'm sort of thinking right well I've had um, something bad for me I've had sort of a square of chocolate or whatever so I'm going to do an extra five minutes walking or whatever so I'm trying to counteract it at the moment so yes I might still be having those things at the moment but um, I'm doing my best to um, do something about it rather than going cold turkey which I know in a week I'm going to be going cold turkey so uh, anyway back to my weights um, I am today uh, 295 pounds which is uh, oh bless my soul no that was when I started uh, my diet sorry 295 pounds that's what I was which was then 134 kilos and 21 stone one say um, now as in today I've weighed myself I am 267.6 pounds uh, which is 121.5 kilos or 19 stone one pounds so that's a grand loss of 28 pounds or 12.5 kilos or two stone um, two stones lost in seven months um, that is from when I was listed for surgery to today um, and I'm actually really chuffed about that because um, as I say I struggle very very hard to lose weight um, the polycystic ovary syndrome really really affects me um, along with uh, you know uh, lack of motivation and all that sort of thing that I've had in the past um, and it's kind of depressing you know not losing even half a pound or a pound so um, for me to get to a two stone loss before surgery um, is fantastic for me I'm really chuffed with that um, I've also lost quite a lot of inches um, from that time from my first uh, measurement which was uh, actually not way back when um, it was more like about five months four months ago um, I've lost four inches off my bust 
Um, I've lost, uh, oh goodness, five inches off my lower tummy, which is the tummy that I have just below my waist, which is kind of the biggest bit. Um, I've lost uh, four and a half inches off my hips and I've lost even, you know, an inch off my ankles. You know, that's kind of where you'd expect the last bit of weight to go but you know I've lost an inch off it so um so I'm really really pleased because you know that's that's all positive and that's really good um a couple of things uh, that I wanted to say which I didn't know whether anybody knows out there so I'm going to say them um it might be me sort of jabbering on to people that know all this stuff but I'm going to say them anyway. Um, I found out that um, salt actually inhibits your water being absorbed into your body. Um, I knew that it was bad for your heart, your blood pressure, that sort of thing, I knew that. Um, but what I didn't know is that it actually um, stops your body absorbing water so all of that fluid extra fluid that you're having to drink and everything if you're having salt it's basically having a counter effect um, on on that water intake because you know if you're if you're having salt on your diet then you know you might as well just not drink the water because it's not going to get in um, so to anybody that's still having salt on their food and things like that stop it because it's not good um, the other thing that I found out um, was to do with surgery and the fact that you shouldn't eat or drink before surgery and why. Um, now, I, I kind of knew that you, you shouldn't eat or drink before surgery and I've known that for a long time. But what I didn't know is the actual reason um, that you shouldn't do it. And I found that out and it is basically because um, it can lead to you getting fluid on your lungs um, which in turn can lead to pneumonia um, which is pretty bad when you're trying to recover from a major operation um, you know to try and recover from a major operation and then get pneumonia to boot it's it's not great so that was interesting um, so I'm not going to be eating certainly not going to try and even entertain drinking you know at five minutes past five on the morning of surgery when I'm supposed to stop at five so I know it sounds really weird but you know I don't think you know I want to get fluid on my lungs so I'm going to stick to that um I've become completely caffeine free now uh Aside from the hidden caffeine that you might get in things like chocolate or whatever, um, if I have a square of chocolate. Um, but actually, I'm a big uh, tea person. Um, I like my cups of tea, um, which most Brits do. Um, and I've over the course of the last three, four weeks, I've been cutting down my caffeine in tea, intake um, because I didn't want the killer migraine headaches that I usually get when I go decaffeinated. Um, I usually get them for like three days and it's not pleasant at all because I just have to stay in bed. It's just horrible. And with a little boy running around, I can't do that. So, um, so I'm now caffeine free um, and I've kind of uh, gone on to, well, I've, I've changed to decaffeinated tea bags and decaffeinated coffee and I'm actually kind of, preferring the coffee to the tea um, it's gone it's not it's less of a jump for from decaffeinated to regular coffee than it is with with tea so I'm kind of going more on the coffee side um, oh my favorite drink latte I'm gonna miss those um, anyway sorry about that I digress um, I wanted to ask everybody a quick question about um, the way they sleep post-surgery. Uh, I, at the moment, I sleep on my side and I've done that since before I was pregnant. So it's going on for three, four years. Um, three years, say, that I've that I've done that. Um, and so I sleep on my side or I sleep on my front. Now, I know post-op, I'm not going to be able to do that um, for a period of time, but I don't know how long. 
Um, so if anybody out there can give me uh, a clue as to how long it will be before I can go back to sleeping on my side, um, I'd really appreciate it because uh, I know I'm going to be sort of leaning, you know, sitting up, sleeping and, and things like that for a while, but uh, you know, when you've got a comfortable position um, that you li like to sleep in, um, the thought of um, not being able to sleep that way for a while is, is quite daunting. So i kind of like to know how long I've got to sort of put up with um, interrupted sleep patterns. I mean, you know, as far as which way I sleep. So sorry, it's a bit garbled, but if you can help me out, that'd be great. Um... Oh, what else? Oh, I wanted to say I have booked to have my feet uh, done, to have a, a kind of a really thorough ped pedicure um, before surgery uh, because I don't know about anybody else, but I've got really, really gammy feet. Um, they're very, I get very hard skin um, because of the weight that I'm carrying. Um, and my you know within a couple of weeks three weeks my feet look really really nasty um so and and it doesn't matter how many times i use the pumice stone or or whatever they still just look horrible so i thought i'll i'll book in to have those done before surgery um because i kind of don't want to get to surgery day uh, get on that couch in the theater um, they get on the bench and find that the surgeon's having to look at my gammy feet. You know, I know he's interested in my tummy and that's all he's interested in, but m for me, my thoughts, having gammy feet when I'm in a very clean theatre just doesn't really sound very pleasant, so I thought I'd have them done. Um, shame that I can't have them polished and that sort of thing as well because I'm not allowed to have nail polish on or anything like that um, but you know I'm, I'm looking forward to that so that'll be done before um, right I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's subscribing and watching these videos um, I'm really really enjoying watching all of your journeys um, you you crack me up sometimes. I, I just sit there laughing so much. Um, so thanks for that. Um, and also just wanted to give a quick shout out to Jonna, um, which is Jonna on a journey. Um, she's fantastic. She's so lovely. Leaves me brilliant, lovely comments, um, and she's very engaging to watch. So I just wanted to say hi to you. Um, I think you're hoping for surgery. You're another pre-op. Um, and I think you're hoping for surgery in October. So fingers crossed, girl, that you get that. Um, and you get your date through very soon. Um, and also Marissa. Um, that is half the girl, Marie. That's H-A-L-F-T-H-E-G-I-R-L-M-A-R-I-S. Um, sorry, and Jonna is J-O-N-N-A-O-N-A-J. O U R N E Y, just in case um, my accent is a bit off. So go and check out their channels. Maris, Marissa is lovely. She's so sweet. Um, she is another pre op who is due to have bypass surgery on 13th of September, so very, very close. Um, she hasn't got many subscribers at the moment, so perhaps you can go and have a look. Sorry, that's my beeper going off telling me I've got to wind this up. Um, so perhaps go and have a look at her channel, see what you think. Um, I, I really love watching her. She's very, very down to earth. So for the moment, I'm going to say cheerio and I shall talk to you soon. All right, bye.